Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk about how to break your bad habits and let's go! What is a bad habit? First, let's understand what exactly habits are. Habits are actions you do repeatedly on a regular basis. They build up your life and have brought you to the situation you are in the right now, either directly or indirectly. Your habits and life is based on your identity. So basically, who you believe you are, what you think about every day, every habit in your life, addresses a need or craving and is there to benefit you in some way, no matter if it's long or short term. So you stick with them most of the time. But how habits work? The process of a habit can be broken down into simple steps, cue, craving, response and reward, which in the end form a so-called habit loop. It is the foundation of every single habit you perform and the process can, can only take you seconds to get through, like switching on the lights when a room is dark. The first step of a habit is always the cue. The cue is what triggered your brain into a certain behavior and most of the time only a tiny bit of information is needed to give you brain the indication of possible reward. In a case of light switching example, the cue would be the room is dark and your brain would indicate that you could see. The craving forms the motivation force behind the habit because without craving the reward we wouldn't have any reason to act. Simply you don't crave the habit itself. But rather its outcome and the change of the state is caused because of the human brain mainly recognizes the change of state in something rather than a permanent state. Particularly, anything could make you crave. But as long as a clue is not interpreted by your brain, any clue is meaningless. For example, in a dark room, the craving would be able to see. By responding to the craving, you perform the actual habit, which could be either just a trough of a real action. And if you in the end exact, execute the actual habit, depends on how much friction and effort is assignation with it. So switching on a light isn't a huge effort, just we don't really think about or procrastinate it and execute the habit. If you execute the habit, you will always get the result, your brain craft and reward is always the end goal of every single habit. How bad habits form? So like I said, every habit benefits you in some way. Then why do you hear so many people talking about bad habits? Bad habits are habits that form the due to stress or problem and even prove they benefit you in a way like making you forget that you're stressed and usually come with over negative costs, which mostly show after a long time over try the actual benefit. How to replacing a bad habit? You're likely to have a heard of breaking habits before, don't you? But that's pretty hard since they provide some sort of benefit to you and you can just simply erase them. Just to get rid of bad habit, you need a new habit that satisfies the same need but doesn't have the negative side effects. For example, if you would smoke when you're stressed, you could instead practice some breath work which calms you down to put what in comparison to smoking doesn't affect your health negatively. Your environment and other external factors can affect your habits, of course, too. But how to form a new habit? To replace a bad habit, you could also form a completely new habit to make a new habit stick. You need to make it obvious, attractive, easy, satisfying as possible because then your brain will recognize it as a benefit. Another way to make habit changing e easier, be it in forming a new habit or breaking a bad one, is to focus on building a new identity instead of focusing on building habits only. Because that way you change your mindset on which your habits are based on. Now the person you want to be and prove to yourself that you can be the person. By first changing your outcomes and results then your habits and systems and then your be beliefs worldwide, world view and self image. Thank you guys again for watching my video and please keep in mind, even if you still struggle with some bad habits, as long as you're still trying to stay determined, you're on a good way. I will hope you are staying safe and I hope we will see us in the next video. Bye!